wanted to talk to you about your movie, The World's End. It's about your character initiates this, this pub crawl. Yeah. That he wants to go on this epic pub crawl. 12 and, pubs. 12 pubs. And uh, I'm curious, have you ever uh, partaken in a pub crawl? I, I never did it. I never did a pub crawl in my no, life. No, I was more of a mind to go somewhere and stay there. Yeah. What, what's the point of walking? Yeah, I never got those. When you're things. drinking, it gets harder and harder anyway. So it, I would always camp out. But there is this thing we have it in the UK, mainly uh, sort of guys on a bachelor party, uh, nurses. Specific groups will do it. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> groups of nurses? Oh yeah, <laughs> they're hard. And then they go back to work yeah, and they start go, carry injecting on. chemicals into people. That's <laughs> yeah. great. That's terrific. Uh, but you know, it's this thing of you have one pint and you move to the next pub and you have another pint and you, and you go on as long until you die. Or, uh, <laughs> or, or less, less bad. You, you went on one once? No, I, yeah, we did. I, I, I went on Nick Frost, uh, who's in the film with me. I went on, the last one I went on with was on, no, it was my stag do, my, which is which was a bachelor party. We call it stag do. Stag do? It's a stag do. You I say, think. you guys have such kooky names for things. And I, it's or our maybe, language. What? No! <laughs> <laughs> You're always like, you know, have a chimney blicket, you know? <laughs> what? You know, it's a cookie. It's no, a it's chimney like, blicket. Oh, like, wager. It's called a stag, well, you call it a stag night. But then okay. you, when you have a party, it's a bit, you have a bit of a do. Yeah. So that becomes a stag do. Sure. That My makes one sense. was in Belgium. It was, uh, we, went, we went to Brussels. We went out in search of uh, a gentleman's bar. We figured, uh, you know, we should do that. We should go to a strip club, basically. We yeah. thought we're guys, that we should do it. It's just That's a nicer way to call it, too. Yeah. Gentlemen's. A gentleman's establishment. <laughs> yeah. yeah, those places are loaded with gentlemen. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> they got the wall to wall. What did I yes. say? Yes. <laughs> we tried. We couldn't find one. Eventually, we found one in some back alley. And it, it just wasn't very nice. There were A lot of the people there were bruised. <laughs> it, it, it just felt, I mean, the performers. There was a so very, there were bruised sure, nude dancers. There was a beautiful sort of Russian dancer on the stage, and she was kind of, went, yeah, this is it. This is where we're supposed to be. And then she, she turned, and someone would obviously kneed her in the leg. Oh, God. <laughs> That's depressing. So we, um, we, it was very depressing, and we felt chased, and we left, and we went to a bar. Uh, which was called The Cock, which was a, a, a famous, but it's true, it's a, as in Rooster. You're sure it was a bar? It was a bar, <laughs> <laughs> but it, it struck us Welcome as to a, Club Cock. Yeah. <laughs> also a gentleman's club. <laughs> <laughs> but the, the irony was is that we'd spent all night looking for boobs and wound up in The Cock. Yes, yes. Uh, <laughs> it often happens. I've heard this throughout the years, that yeah. acting drunk is one of the hardest things to do. That, yeah. that people tend to overdo it or... You can they get, get it very it wrong. wrong, I think, yeah. Yeah, so that you had to, for this role, you had to be very precise in your yeah, yeah. drunk acting. We had 12 stages of drunkness, basically. We did this in rehearsals. We came up with 12 stages of drunkness. This is offset in the movie because we get into a lot of fights in the pubs. Right. And this causes what's called the adrenaline deficit. You know when you get into a bar fight, right? You betcha. And uh, <laughs> you have a... You, <laughs> We've all done it, come on. Yeah. Uh, and that, that takes a couple of pints off your drunk awareness. So if we, we're in Yeah, because eight, of adrenaline, you become more aware. It takes yes. the edge off the drunkenness. But and, and basically, we had 12, the 12 stages of drunkenness, which we had, could drop into at any one time. Because, you know, if we're in the first pub, you're not very drunk. To be honest, the first six is much of a muchness. You can't really tell. You can right. cover it up, up right. to six. Round about seven, you get the slow eye blink comes in. It's that. It's very subtle. Uh, back, back pint nine, you get um, your neck falls out with your head, so your your, your head just starts wobbling like that. <laughs> you're really good at that. So if I just if I just called one out, you could do it. Yeah. You're that good. Give me one. Four. Four. This is that. This is easy. Look. <laughs> I'm drunk enough to cover it up, so you're not going to see anything. Go above six. Go up higher. Eight. Eight. That's just before the neck, so that's just like that. <laughs> that was fast. All right, I gotta do it. 12! 12. 12. Okay. 12, here we go, there Here's are 12. Two, there, there, are two, uh, there, there are two things. 10, you go, you start to lose your short-term memory. Yeah. So every 30 seconds, you uh, remember how drunk you are, yeah. and you do this. <sighs> By the, time, by the time you get to 12, you are in total denial about yeah. that. You are convinced that you're sober. Convinced, but you are drunker than you've ever been. So you just dismiss everything and you do this. 